out. And also, I want to thank you guys so much. This was really inspirational. Yeah. I really love the twist and the turns. And Don't you love Mr. Martini? Yes, yes. And Rebecca, you were I'd love to have a martini. I was going to say that. Hey. Hey. Welcome to join us. <laughs> I wanted to talk to Drew. I wanted to ask him a few questions. But the next time. Go ahead. We'll do it. Yeah, go time. ahead. Yeah, if he's, yeah. he's awake now, so. We'll do, He's well, not, uh, how long do we have? Well, we, well we, we, we have dinner reservations in about 25 minutes. Oh, okay. But. Well, he's waving that we're okay. All right, so let me ask you a couple of questions. <laughs> okay. It's just because I, I do wanted to... Do you do to, hypnosis yourself? No, Come I don't. Here, I don't. I've, tr I've learned. Better, I've learned. You, that, you, you were helping me nap. So, <laughs> you, you got that vocal <laughs> No, I do. I do. I do. Oh, it's me. true. No, I have taken some classes in it, and I've filmed enough of them, so I understand the questions. But here's the here's the premise of what I'm going to ask Dr. Drew, and it's really simple, and anybody can do it, and it, there's no science to it. It's just the, more of a parlor game than anything else. And what I'm going to ask him to do is to access a memory that he had without any hypnosis. We're just here, like, having coffee. He's wide awake. And and so you mentioned earlier that there was a, I think it was a disconcerting memory. Yeah, or? I had a, a, what I thought was a horrible dream when I was very young, like under two, under three. Mm -hmm. And as I, I had some flashes later in life that led me to believe this was actually a memory and not okay. a... Okay. And, and was there a person involved? Yes. Okay. And can you picture that as a male or female? Well, there are two, but the male was the one that was terrifying me. Okay. Male male terrifying. Okay. Very good. And uh, about how old is this male? 40. About 40s. Uh, what color hair? Dark. Color eyes? Can you dark. see him? Dark eyes, dark hair. Glasses. What's he wearing? Mustache. Glasses and a mustache. Okay. And what time period does the does his clothing represent 50s. 1950s, okay. And you were born in? 58. 58, okay, so early 50s. So, but let's just take a look at this guy, okay? Mm -hmm. The other guy might be have an important issue involved, but let's just focus on this guy for a second. The other one was my mother. Okay, so, so let's set her aside. Yeah. So this guy, um, does he have a name? He didn't at the, at the, in the... Okay, I just want you to open yourself up to a yeah. name just so we can well, call I'd him Well, I guess I have associated it with somebody that my father knew, and I'm imagining it's him. Okay, let's go. What's his but first name? But he had a, Jerry. Jerry, okay. He had a good. very strange uh, feature that was terrifying to me as this little child. Okay, what he, was his feature? He had, where your irises are and your pupils, he had red crosses. Okay, very cool. Oh. All right, in in this in right? this in in life or in this memory? In this memory. In this memory. Okay, very good. Now, red crosses don't necessarily mean something dark or evil, do they? They're just images. I I, I kind of put it all together one time. Shall I say that? Sure, also? go ahead. I was in uh, Boston when I was twenty, and uh, I saw a nineteen fifties white ambulance van mm, with a red good. cross on the side. Very good. And sure. I went, oh, my God. That's, that's the cross. That's okay. the cross. And I, it all shoo, sort of came together. Wow. Maltese that's cross is what it's called. Uh, I know the cross from Boston. Yes. Well, no, it was it was a red, you know, red cross, red cross. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, red cross, red cross. But just like the equal length. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, so it, now, but in the 50s, ambulances were white vans with red crosses. All right, so let's, let's do something interesting here. Let's, this Jerry, yeah. let's put him in front of us. How far away is he from you? You're where you are right now. Okay, very good. Yeah. I want him to come closer. To me or you? Uh, to you. And okay. I want you to think of it as a photograph or okay. a holograph. Okay. And just get closer to him. Okay. And now, are are these crosses a reflection of something that he's looking at in his eyes? Or no, they... I sort of lost the cross thing because I've done a lot of sort of processing on this in therapy. <laughs> so okay. the crosses aren't there when I see the picture. Okay, very good. So yeah. just go on uh, up to him yeah. and stand in front of him. Stand. It's a picture? No, yes, it's a picture, okay, but right. I want you to stand in front of him. I'm okay. going to shift the present tense. Right. We're now in front of Jerry. Okay. And uh, what what kind of clothing is he wearing? He's like, like a button down or khaki, like non nondescript. Nondescript. And so do me a favor, reach out and take hold of his hand. Okay. Like picture. you're shaking it. In the picture. In the picture, right. in your mind's eye. It's not this is difficult. To All right. And so what's the feeling you get from this guy? Is he mean? No. Is he happy? Warmth. Warmth. Okay, very. Is a familiar warmth? Yeah. Okay, it's somebody that you know. Mm -hmm. All right, so Jerry, I want. can I ask you a question directly, Jerry? Sure. Okay. Do you know this boy? Do you know this young man? Do you no. know this person? No. You've never met him before? No. So he feels a familiarity with you. Why does he feel that way? Don't know. All right, let's examine it. Would you show him, Jerry, show him in his mind's eye? Just give him an example of some place, journey, or or person, something that happened that he can relate to that he has a memory of you. 
I'm sorry. I, me, Let me say that again. I, I, Drew's I, not getting it. You have to separate no, I, Drew I, and Jerry I, a little bit. No, no, I screwed up because I looked uh, over at Jennifer for a second and my uh, brain went out. So let's just hold his hand. Now mm-hmm. take both of his hands. He, he's morphing a bit. This is not the same Jerry that I Very was talking good. about. That's so. okay. I'm, I, we appreciate that. Yeah. This is, it suddenly becomes somebody quite different. But uh, Okay, what does he look like now? Now he's like a Burgermeister or something with a hairy arm. Thank you. Okay, very good. <laughs> Germany's coming. German. Okay, a Burgermeister right. represents. I know what that is. I don't know okay, what good. And and what year, if we're going to ask Jerry what year this Turn is? Turn of the century. Turn of the century. Okay. And take I'm a not look sure at it's him. Jerry anymore. Okay, that's fine. And because it might also be Jerry. Mm. So let's look at his clothing for a second. Is this something? Because I asked him specifically to show you an image of something yeah. that you was familiar, and he did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the Burgermeister. So I want Whatever you to that is. Sort look of a guy in, in It's in uh, Germany. So but, look but, around. But somebody in uh, Lederhosen. Lederhosen. So look <laughs> around. Look over his shoulder. I'm talking fast just because <laughs> I know we don't a lot of time. I, I, I'm really don't. I'm just free associating at your as yes. you suggested. Neuenschwanstein, the castle. Very good. Thank you. And, and do me a favor. Just look around the castle. What are we? Is it day or night? Day. And look at the ground. Are you standing on grass or on dirt? No, well, I was sort of looking at it over his shoulder. Okay. I'm going to go into that castle? Yeah. Well, no, just take a look at your feet. Oh, my feet right now? Yeah. Dirt. Dirt. Okay. And so now I want you to take a look at you. Me. Yeah. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy. Okay. About how old? See, well, now I'm me. You're talking to me now. Okay. But all right, so let's, I'm, I'm from me. the Burgermeister. Let's oh, from him? You want me to be from, him? Yeah. No, in other words, I want the burger. You're still holding the Burgermeister's hand, And Jerry. you're going to talk to him. You and no, I want you to shift your focus to him. Yeah, he's a boy. He's looking at you now. And what do you look like in this memory from the Burgermeister land? Are you a boy or a I girl? Can't, I can't quite do it. Okay. Well, well, we can. So far, we are on dirt. Dirt. Right? I'm, but I'm strict. But you, I'm still been. I'm me the whole time. That's okay because you are you. That's fine. And what I'm asking, uh, if from the perspective of Jerry, have him just take a look at you. He Do sees you, me as a boy. He sees you as a boy. Okay, very good. About how old? Eight, twelve. Tw- on. Uh, what color know. hair? Dark. Dark hair. Uh, what color eyes? Dark. Okay, very good. Is this you? Is he looking at you? I think so. True. Okay, yes. very good. And what's this boy's name in this lifetime? Drew. Drew. Let's just call him that. It makes sense. All right. So do me a favor. I want Jerry to tell us what's his relationship to you. Great grandfather. Okay. Very good. Okay. So there's a familial tie. Very good. And are we near the New Schwanstein Castle? Is that where we are? Are we in Austria? Or are we in Germany? You know, my conscious brain keeps kicking into this because it's. It's okay. A great allowed. grandfather in Germany doesn't make sense. That's okay. Don't. That's why I said don't judge anything. Uh, no, we're don't not near this Bruce. castle. It's just, okay. a, just an image. Just an image. Okay, yeah. very good. Very good. And and I'm going to ask Jerry a question. What you're showing this it's hard image. to be Jerry. It's, that's, that's I find that to be challenging. Okay, Burgermeister. I'm asking yeah. you a simple question. Yeah, yeah. Where are we in the world? Are we on this planet? Northern Germany. Northern Germany. Very good. And what's the biggest city that's nearby? What comes Berlin to mind? Is the biggest, but there's others. Okay. I'm sorry. What was the name of the city? Berlin. Berlin. Okay, very good. But, the, okay. but there are more there are important, others. there's I understand. significant cities for Jerry. Okay, very good. And, that are not Berlin. And Mr. Burgermeister, about what Mainz? year? Mainz? Mainz? Main, okay. Not, not, M- Main, yes. not, the, not the port city, but something in a little bit. Berlin. Okay, very good. And would you do me a favor? I, You know, Jerry um, Burgermeister, take <laughs> this boy, mm-hmm. show him the house that he is living in as a child. That I'm living in? The, that he was living in. That the Burgermeister is Burgermeister's living. living in. Let's go there. What, show okay. the house. Sorry. I think. Okay. I'm, again, free associating. It's yeah. uh, greenish with some turrets and a big porch. Okay. Very good. And let's go inside the house. What, right. What's it feel like inside Dark and Victorian. I don't, it, I don't like it. Drew doesn't like it. Okay. Is there, okay. Is there anybody in this house besides? Mm, it's empty. It's empty. Okay. Very good. Whose home is this? Is this the Burgermeister's? Yes. Okay. Do me a favor, Burgermeister. Put into Drew's mind the, your last name. Schmidt. Okay, thank you. With a D or with just with a T? DT. DT. Okay, thanks. With a S-C-H-M-I-D-T? Yes. Okay, thank you. And what year? Just pop a year. 1900. In. 1900, literally 1900 or 1890? Or right, right there. Right there, 1900. The 20th century. World. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Now, I want to, I'm going to, because we're just skipping around here, I want, uh, I want you to do something for you, for me, Mr. Mr. Schmidt. Mm. I, I want you to invite Drew's spirit guide here. I know this is counterintuitive to something that he would consciously think of, 
but I'm going to ask for the spirit guide to show up. I'm skipping ahead. We could spend hours to get to this place, but I'm just asking. Whoever is Drew's spirit guide, join this little crowd that we're talking to here. Now, I want you to look around, Drew. Is there anybody here besides these two fellas, a male or a female presence, or both or neither? Neither. Nothing. Not, mm, I wouldn't say nothing, but nothing I can discern. Okay, very good. Well, uh, let's go into the not quite discerning. Is yeah, it, it's let's, a light. It's a, thank you. Okay, so let's. can I ask this light to come forward or sure. you get closer to it? Sure. Okay. And what would you describe the light? What color is mm, it? It looks like a sunset, but brighter, and then it becomes a candle. Excellent. So it's a like orange, mm, blood. like a almost like a fantasy sunset. Okay, very not, good. Not and, a, and before we get to the candle part, just keep into the the light part of it. Describe it. Is it two dimensional, flat, or is it? It's a sunset, like like a, on the ocean kind of sunset, like okay. a horizon sunset, oh, like that kind of a sunset. Yeah. And then yeah. is it? Um, is there an energy to it? Okay. Or okay, yeah. all right, very good. Now do me a favor, and I this this energy that's right in front of you, put your hand inside of it, your imaginary hand. Just slip it right into this energy. What mm -hmm. does that feel like? Goo. Goo? Warm. Warm. Okay. And is there any emotion associated with that warmth? Mm, peace. Peace. All right. Very good. Thank you. Warmth and peace. All right. So I'm going to ask this light if the light could transform into an entity so that we can have a conversation, male or female. I guess male. Okay, very good. And and so, thank you. And so, male, can you give us a name? It doesn't matter if it sounds like anything you've ever heard before. Just Maybe my father, Mort. Mort. All right, very good. So, Mort, thank you. It's getting, so, this is getting weird for me. Don't. It's okay. We're just having a It's been a weird game. for quite some time here, by the way. <laughs> we're just, <laughs> we're just it's getting really it's definitely weird. definitely not no, no, a dude thing. Getting, but I think what's, what's interesting about this is I'm not creating anything. You are. And this well, is in your... We're co-creating. We're co-creating. Co All right. And I'm asking <laughs> questions. So let's allow his name to be Mort. Okay. So, I'm Mort, would you appear to oh, Drew's consciousness so you can... Go ahead. What were you going to say? Well, I had a weird – this is another weird, important dream that was – like I think I had a split-off sense of my father as a kid in my – sort of my own psychological development. And this feels like that split-off piece a bit. Okay, very like, not good. not my real father. All right, so let's – Not the, my actual father. Like I understand. Split off. Like a split – okay, very good. Something. Well, I understand it because consciousness apparently is here and is also back there. Mm -hmm. So this very well, very well may be – your father's higher consciousness, that's a possibility. But let's ask Mort some questions, if we can. Mort, can we address you directly? Sure. Would that be okay? Yeah. Thank you. Um, first of all... What about the candle? I want to stay with the candle, too, okay. which feels like a more... Warm kind of uh, expression. Uh, better. Okay, so let's call this candle Mort. Uh, can mm, we? The candle's different. All right. So, oh, so can we hold the candle? Yep. All right, very good. Let's hold the candle. I'm going to ask Mort some direct okay. questions. All right. First of all, Mort, what do you think about what we're doing here? Having Weird. This, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, you know me. You probably have heard about me. I'm one of those guys who talks <laughs> to spirits on the flip side. Okay. And is it okay for me to ask sure. you questions? Sure. All right. Would you do me a favor, Mort? Would you show Drew what he looks like to you? What's the visual that you mm, have? He sees me as a baby. As a baby. Okay, very good. Okay. Is there an association with that baby feeling? Is it? Warmth. Warmth again. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And so I want you to do me a favor, Mort, because we're skipping around here. Mm. I want you to take Drew by the hand, mm. and I want you to walk him into his council. Council? Drew does not know what I'm talking about, but Mort, you know what I'm talking about. Huh. So would you do me a favor, walk him towards his council? Are we inside or outside? It's going back towards the light. Okay, very good. Let's go. Let's go beyond that. Let's go back towards that light, and let's go to where your council is. They're waiting for you. Are we in a room? Are we uh, in a room? We're in a room. Okay, very good. And now, are they? How are they arrayed? Are there? How many people are there in your in this room? I can't really tell. But roughly from twelve. Twelve. Thank you. And so let's. Are they in a straight line? Or are they in a I've curve? Seen both. They're like on, on the walls, like sitting around the walls. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, we're going to meet these people right now. I Wait, hope you don't mind. That's All right? Mort. So Mort, <laughs> I, I, Drew, Drew is tiring of this, All I right. must tell you. I know Hi, Mort. This is stressful because it's hard to keep this kind of a weird focus. Yes, but just allow it to, that we're doing yeah. something very profound, okay. which is really important for you to hear. Okay? okay? I want you to go to the first council member 
How are they all I'm having trouble seeing individuals? That's okay. Are they are just what's your it's impression? Like, like Native Americans are here. Very good. Are you are they all male? Are they female? Are they Mix. combo? Mix. All right, let's go Mostly to the male. first person on the far left. What's this person look okay. like? <laughs> like a female like pilgrim. Very, very good. And I want you to go up close to her. Okay. And and first of all, I want to thank this person for being here. Okay. What does She's one she, of the only women in there. Let's give her a name. Let's ask Marie. Her. Marie, thank you. And, and what is how is she dressed? <laughs> like a like, like a pilgrim. Like brown. Like, I'm just saying. Well, with like colors. like uh, br- dark with a white apron and one of those those bonnets that they would you know. Very good. I understand. And so <laughs> and so Marie Marie is her name, correct? Something like that. Okay, Marie. I right. want I want you to put into Drew's mind how you earned your position on the council. What is the quality in Drew's life that you bring to the to his council? What is the 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 overwhelming important quality that you bring to him? She brings history. Thank you. History. All right. And hence the uh, pilgrim outfit. We like that. It's very clever. <laughs> and I want you to reach out. Can you reach out and touch her hand? Yeah. Okay. Now look at her eyes. What color are her eyes? Blue. Blue. And what color is her hair? Bond- bonnet. <laughs> Bonnet, bonnet colored. Bonnet, there's she's no got, hair I mean, under there. Oh, you can't light, see it. Light hair. So she's got blue eyes and, and light hair. Very good. And now I want you to describe the emotion or the feeling you're getting from holding this person's hand. Kindness. Kindness. What kind of kindness? I mean, it's a simple word. Is it? Is it overwhelming kindness? No, it's gentle, wise, deliberative. Let me ask Marie, how do you feel what we're doing? Do you think this is weird? She, that everyone thinks it's weird in this room. Okay, very good. <laughs> I appreciate that. No, I don't see. I so, don't think it's weird. No, no. She's, we're talking about the council. The council I think it's you. weird. So, Marie. I, I think I'm hypnotized. Marie, myself. I want you to ask. I want you to say something to Drew. <laughs> I want you to give him a sentence and to the people listening in. I want you to give him a Wisdom sentence. Wisdom is wealth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wisdom is wealth. Uh, Drew, is this something you've heard before? No. Okay, thank you. So, Marie, this is coming from Marie. I would call this new information. Let's move to the next person to Marie. Is that a male or a female? It's this. I, I'm having trouble because I have this presence of like a North American Indian. Thank you. And, and that feels. That's wonderful. That, but because that feels like. Uh, don't judge it. Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm judging. Right, please it. don't. I'm judging it because right. right, I'm going to talk to him in his well, you're native. With pilgrims, what do you I'm expect? Gonna, I'm going to talk to him in his native language. All right, now, all, right? all right. If you don't mind, there. he's sitting there. All right, so very good. So describe what he's wearing. Headdress. How many feathers? Lots. Um, how many? Ten. Ninety. 20, Ninety. Are they up? Or are they down? All the way down his back. Up all and the way down. down his back. Up and then down. Okay. And I want you to look carefully at his face. Yeah. Look at those eyes. Mm. What is it? What's the emotion you get looking at him? Hang on. I'm, I'm having trouble staying. Uh, Just depth? Depth. depth. Uh, All right. Well, f- uh, let's most... take his hands. Sometimes that helps. Take his hands. No, he doesn't yours. want me to. Okay. I want you to look at the front of his, of his dress. Is he wearing any symbols or emblems or jewelry? Beads. Beads. Okay. Uh, glance over to Marie for a second. Does yeah. she have anything on her? No. no. Very, very sparse. Sparse. All right. So the beads. Just let's ask, I, what's this person's name? This one is like making me emotional. Uh, very this good. Guy. Very good. Yeah. I understand. And that's why I'm having trouble staying with his eyes. That's okay. You don't have to. Just look at his beads for a second. Mm. Okay. Just focus on his beads. And, and please, would, if he can give us a name or the tribe that he represents. Humanity. Humanity. Is there a Very, tribe that's oh, called that's, itself human? Yes, yes, it, there is. Well, the Sioux considered everybody in their tribe to be humanity, yeah. okay. and everybody who was not in the Sioux was not humanity. Okay. Let me ask him directly. Does he mind if I ask him a question? I know this is weird. For short him. patience. But... Very short patience. Very good. Are you Sioux? Would I, could I characterize you as you Sioux? You could characterize it. Thank you. Way. Are you Lakota or Dakota or Nakota? Which one? Nakota. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And so, I, listen, I appreciate the fact that you're here. Nay, hey, ha, ha. Okay, that's my, <laughs> my way of saying thank you. So I want to ask you a question about our friend Drew here. You have been watching over him for so many lifetimes. Do you feel like he's doing a good job? He will. 
He will. And would you, t- would you show him why he's doing the kind of work he's doing where he's saving lives on a daily basis? He's waving a spear over me. Very good. Okay, and is that spear a, a warrior spear or is that a spirit? It's more more uh, uh, ceremonial. More, more ceremonial. Almost, almost like the way a peace pipe would be how you could communicate with people. That feels like a blessing. A blessing. Of. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate but that. But some power being transmitted or something. Or okay. Or something. Well, what does that feel like? I, mm, is it's he tra- all very confusing. Is he me. transmitting it to you? Do you have a feeling of it? Yes. Oh, very good. So to focus on it for a second. Allow it to be part of your reality. What is that feeling that he's trying to impart from you with his great knowledge of humanity and what it's like, nature? Um, patience and work to be done. Oh, wow. How wonderful is that? So we had the first person who gave you kindness, and now he's giving you patience. Okay, well, That one very, said wealth is wisdom. He's not giving me wisdom patience. I want to go to dinner. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Let me out of here. All right. Well, hang on. Hang on. We are, I'm kidding. I, we don't have to go through all 12. But, I mean, we can't. I, but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get there. I have to pay for time here. I, no, I understand. <laughs> I, no, no. I won't go through all. I did as, as fast as, as I can go. Wisdom Jesus. as well. All right. So hold on. We're going to get to the end. And so here's the end. <laughs> I want you to focus, Drew, for a second on the person who is your spokesperson, the person in this council who is the sort of chief, the person who represents everybody else. Uh, I feel like I'm put at the head of the council. Well, but I want you to look at this group of 12, and somewhere within that 12, there's somebody that is the spokesperson, a male or female or neither or both. There's a reluctant person okay, that very good. probably should come forward. Is in, and can you come forward, please? Yeah, okay. Okay, very good. Male or female? Male. Male. Sort and and roughly a name? Bill. Non, Bill. Very nondescript. Very non- Bill? It's okay. No. It's okay. And wearing, is he a bearded or no, just? No, clean cut. Just very cool. Sorry. All right. So, Bill, listen, I really appreciate this. I want you to give, put in Drew's mind, why we're doing this. Why this is important for Drew to experience this. Uh, for patience. Thank you. All right, patience. It seems to yeah. be a common theme yeah. over there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so but let's just allow. And so, I'll, all right. Sorry, so, uh, I Bill, I want to. I want to thank. I want to. Th- I know. I wish we did. I wish. I, but I, we did it pretty quickly. And so, I want to thank everybody in the room. Let's thank everybody now. Before okay. we go, I want your Bill to put a feeling somewhere in Drew's body. Put a feeling so that he knows when he feels that experience of that feeling, he'll know he's connected to you and you want to impart some knowledge or information to him. Can you do that? Okay. Thank you. You don't have to share with us what it is, but you now have that feeling. And whenever that feeling happens to you, you'll know, Bill (laughs) and the other guys, they're all trying to let you know you're on the right path, dude. You're doing a wonderful thing. And now one last sentence. Is there anything, Bill, that you want to impart to the audience that's listening into this very unusual it's interview? Really scram. Get out of here. Okay, thank you very much. Go have a nice dinner. I appreciate it. Wisdom All right, thank well. you, Bill. All right, that's what I do. And we did that yes. in 15 minutes. Thank awesome. you very much. Rich, thank you. Thank that, you. That's a hypnotic thing. thing. What's hypnotic about it? I'm totally sober. I've had a glass of water. Your eyes are wide open. <laughs> no, Where's... but it's a, it's a guided, you know, hypnotic It's a guided experience. meditation. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. And so my only... I'm pretty mellow, but I'm also super hungry. But, so. the only, <laughs> but the only point is, is that your testimony of what you just described is consistent with everybody that I do this with. In what sense? Twelve they, people on a council, sometimes 12, six, really? sometimes Seriously? eight. Twelve is yeah, about no. the most amount. I have to tell you, I saw that too. Twelve. When the age when you were at the we, castle? Yeah, yeah. Well, we were following it. Yeah. So Each crazy. person on the council represents I did not some see a quality thing. that I you literally learned. am. I'm. D- I dead or yeah. dumb. It did feel like parts of self. It felt like, but and, it, it, and so that that disconcerting too. dream you had. That was actually you reconnecting with somebody that you've known in a previous lifetime. It's all good. We don't die. 
we just hang out and check them out later. <laughs> I love it. All right, let the host uh, take over. I love it. And you Thank can you. find Thanks, Rich Drew. Martini at richmartini.com. And yes. you can find Rebecca Fearing at rebeccafearing.com. Get a reading and also Jennifer Schaefer at Jennifer M. Schaefer. S H A F F E R. Yes. And also you can find them all on my cast of Clairvoyance yes. on my website. And also Merry Christmas. check us Susan, out at Dr. Thank you. Merry thank Christmas, you. everyone. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Let the party begin. <laughs> all right.